going to? Around the back so we can see the trail. Oh, okay. We wanted to take a minute to thank our friends at thebikerlawyers.com. If you're ever in an accident in Iowa or Minnesota, make sure to call and ride the recovery road with the biker lawyers. All right, y'all. We're here. The break from our regularly scheduled YouTube video. We'll be back to dirt biking in a minute, but I wanted to make a really important announcement. Um, Michael and I are going to try one more time to do moto tours. Our first moto tour will be leaving out of the Frederick, Maryland area, and we will be riding to West Virginia, um, staying near New River Gorge. We'll be doing a ton of really fun rides. We got cabins. Um, we have a really fun itinerary. So we have room for four to six people. Um, we will be offering discounts if you want to come uh, two up, if you want to come as a couple. Um, but it's going to be an awesome time. It's going to be a three to four day tour. We're still working out the details uh, June 1st, probably through June 4th. So if you want to come, mark your calendars. Like I said, space is limited. Probably only four to six people on this first tour. Um, but Michael and I will be there riding with everybody, hanging out with people nights, mornings, doing a bunch of fun stuff together. Um, so we're looking at, you know, a cabin that has a hot tub and lots of other fun stuff. So if you are interested, email us at megsmotorcyclejourney at gmail.com and we will send you the information and then we'll get back to people in the order that we receive things. So I hope you guys will join us. We're really excited. Uh, beautiful area. We had a blast last year. Even though it was a hurricane, it was only Michael and I. We had so much fun. So if you're interested, Shoot us an email. All right. Hopefully it starts. Look at that. First try. Mm -hmm. You gotta take the choke off. And so we decided we we're gonna come out. If you guys watch our channel frequently, you know we have a friend named Dennis. He has uh, a dirt bike as well. He's got a Honda, a 300. So we're gonna get at it. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna do like skills mm -hmm. practice, like all riding skills practice. But you can see that they took that big. Uh, what is that thing called, Michael? Bobcat. Bobcat. Back row. Something Whatever. like that. Yep. I don't know. You know, my knowledge is limited. Yeah, there's some they, jump jumps. Yeah, they made this whole trail and they got bumps and then they're single track. The whole front is single, single track. Single track. They got a bunch of property out here. So, you guys will be entertained watching me on our dirt bike adventure. Anywho, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to take you, we'll take you on a little tour of the whole track and um, bring the GoPro along and try to show you some cool footage. All right.
Hey guys, I'm Meg. If you are new to our channel, this is a motor vlog of my two wheel journey. Cameraman Michael comes along with me. Sometimes we have some of our other friends there. In this video, Dennis was accompanying us. Some of my other videos also feature my best friend Lauren and some of our other friends. At any rate, as you can tell, this is a dirt bike video. Historically, dirt bike videos haven't done as well on our channel, which sort of surprises me because I would have thought that a lot of y'all who are Harley riders started off on dirt as kids, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe this will bring in some new dirt riders and expand our channel's horizons. If you are a regular, you will know that Michael and I mostly ride our Harleys on this channel, but we have also done a lot of test rides and a fair number of dirt videos because we both enjoy it. Michael rode dirt a lot as a kid. I rode it only a very little bit. However, we did a whole series last year, actually almost two years ago. No, that was last March, where we went to a three-day dirt bike tour in the desert of california if you haven't seen those videos they are awesome we had the time of our life so definitely go back and check those out and i will link them at the end of this video dirt riding was unlike other dirt riding that we've done because there was a lot of obstacles. It was almost like a mini motocross track that my stepbrother put together. Get your left leg out. There you go. Actually, surprisingly, the single track part of this trail was the most difficult, uh, more than some of the jumps. Obviously, I wasn't flying off the jumps doing crazy things. Like I said, I don't have a ton of dirt experience, but I really want to get better because I do have a lot of fun doing it. It is harder to find places around here to ride dirt. If you have suggestions, I would love to know about them. I have heard about some places in Virginia where you can go and ride dirt for a day, but Michael and I would be very interested to know where all y'all local folks go to ride dirt because we would love to join you. It's something that we both really enjoy the thrill of. Bag. When you're going around those turns, uh -huh. um, you so got these ones? Any, any of them, even in there, you can't, you've got to get your uh, foot out okay. and in front of you, okay. right? And use that as balance because when you're going through those turns like this, you're on dirt and that bike is made to slip. So when you're in that turn and uh -huh. you feel you're in that groove, give it some throttle. I know it's scary. 
but if you're in that turn that groove and you got your leg out your your I'll bike's sideways and it will slide it it's at now don't go crazy with it right i was doing it like going behind you right yeah enough that you could do it so yeah, you get back on rut, you can make your own rut where it's comfortable exactly too, right right, right. And then, but, but what i'm saying she's going around these turns straight up and down right even there's those slow ones yeah. so get on and follow me <laughs> so you can watch me do it it's hard right yeah i give myself credit right yeah dude you did real good bad. not bad not bad i see what you mean it puts a lot of pressure on you a lot of pressure right See, that single track's tough. I mean, a couple times I got in the groove and was able to use it to my advantage. I mean, so all of my stepbrother's friends did motocross. Right. So they have bikes and they like are flying off these jumps and everything. Yeah, I'm sure. Can be done, but I need a lot more practice before I get there. We'll keep practicing. All yep. right, did you start this one? Now we're going to start here in just a second. So we're going to do it again? <laughs> Y'all, we will be going, leaving for a trip this week. We are going to North Carolina. I was actually asked to participate in a poker run fundraiser and speak uh, at a conference. So uh, the topic I will be speaking on is uh, women and advocacy. So we will be taping that and bringing you guys along will be in the western part of North Carolina, so we may go back and ride the tail of the dragon if we have time. But if you have other suggestions, because I know there's tons of awesome riding in western North Carolina, please do let us know. We're both excited to have a couple of days where it's a little warmer down south and to potentially ride some super cool stuff that we have not yet ridden in North Carolina. So comment on this video or shoot us a message if you have ideas about where we can ride. And until next time, guys, ride safe. Good now.
she did. more clearance so that can go more than 10 miles although an hour. although this you one can't go no more than two miles an hour around the corner you yeah. going faster around those corners with that. Yeah. although you know michael how you told me to put my foot out yeah it don't matter on that bike because you my can't reach the ground i know ever, my foot. but remember you're just using your foot for balance right it wasn't bad right i did all right you did great i don't know if i would take it on the single uh, hit the ignition on that oh. though you yes. don't know if what i would take it on the single track probably. yeah it would be hard for you just like, because it's slower oh, speed but single. once you get once you get um comfortable on the bike yeah th then hard. you can do it i mean it's a lot of bike though for just how big i am as yeah. a person right and i don't know the weather was practiced on the little bike but when you on this bike you were going faster around these corners than you were on that bike no shit. and that's a lot bigger yeah i know but it feels like that could handle it better i did think about if i go down on this bike kind of hurt a lot more so why would you go faster? Why would you go down? <laughs> hey, man, well, right. because I didn't feel like I was going to go down on that bike. This one feels a little wobblier or something. Uh, Michael, like can that. you teach me a wheelie on that one? Not today. Another day? Yeah. 